Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ovais back with another video. Today's tutorial is going to be about video editing. I will be teaching you how to use Filmora to edit your videos. Filmora is a free video editing software. You can download it from Wondershare.com. But with the free version, you're going to get the watermark on the top of your videos. So if you are looking into editing your videos frequently, I would highly recommend get a paid version, which costs about $40 a year and $60 for a lifetime license. There's a question that why buy Filmora or use this software to edit my videos? So the answer is that if you're brand new to video editing and you don't have any idea how video editing works Then the best choice is Filmora because it's the easiest video editing software I know. Filmora lets you create edit your videos like a pro So if you are starting out for YouTube, I would all recommend start with Filmora and just to mention that they are not sponsoring this video If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. So go ahead and click on that red button Without further ado, let's get started Alright, so I've already downloaded Filmora, so this is what you're going to see when you start Filmora for the first time. So you have two versions, 4x3 and 16x9. Nowadays, 100% video is in 16x9 aspect ratio, so select that. There are two modes here, easy mode and full featured mode. Then we're going to look at full featured mode, so click here. Alright, so this is Filmora. So on the top, you got menus, file menu, edit menu, export, help register so if it's a free version you can re register that and if it's a paid version you can register it with registration code next we have this bar here here we have albums sample colors so anything you can create even your own folders here as well by clicking here so if you have any favorite music you can just add those music into those folders so you don't have to go and import them every time you start using filmora this is the preview window. So every video editing software has a preview window. Next we have this bar. These are the features that are really useful with Filmora. So you have a media, you have music version. So these are the few music that is offered by Filmora. So they are obviously copyrighted so you can use them freely. Next we have text and credit. So these are a few animation. If I click on that, you're going to see that animation on the right. So I'm going to play that. So that's the animation you can add to your videos. Very easy. Just drag and drop. Next we have filters. If you want to add an effect such as this effect, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to play that effect. So that kind of effect you can add to your videos. No professional editing required. All you have to do is just drag and drop. That is why I would highly recommend if you're brand new to video editing and you have no idea how video editing works, get Filmora. Next we have overlays and let's play that. So these are the overlays. You can even download overlays from Filmora website. They have some more effects. So I'm going to click here. This is going to take me to the Filmora website and you have some more collection here. Let's go back to Filmora now. You have some elements such as if you want to add this element to your video, select that. I'm going to play that now and you can see those elements. Use them, you have to download them first. So just click on this button here and it's going to start downloading. Next we have transition. Transition are very common in all the video editing software. But I think Filmora has pretty decent collection of transitions. I'm going to play that transition. So that's the transition. You can make that effect with this transition. Right next we have split screen options. So if you have let's say two videos on the top of each other so if i select that and you can add one video on the top second video on the down let's go back to media and i'm going to import few files you can import few files by clicking right here but if you have one video here you're not going to see import files option here so you have to go here and then click on import media file so let's say all of your files in the same folder you can select that folder and every file available in that folder will be imported and you can import files from camera or phone download from facebook instagram Flickr. So let's say if i click on that you need to sign into your facebook and then you will see all your video files here next we have record option as well so if you are, have a webcam plug into your computer you can directly record from your webcam or you can record your pc screen as well and record voiceover so this software lets you do commentary videos as well so let's go import few video files i'm going to click on media files and 
and I'm gonna click on open one thing I haven't talked about is that this is a timeline so every video editing software has a timeline where you can add your videos add overlays pictures text and music so so we have all the videos in filmora now now you need to add those videos to the timeline to make them editable i want to look at the video if i want this video on the start or on the end so let's say if i want to drag this video down right just click drag and drop it to the timeline now it's been added to the timeline to zoom into your clip just click there and then just drag to the right you can just use this scroll bar to scroll through your video now i'm going to select this and here i have a few options undo redo edit split delete crop flash and hold and then we have power tool we'll talk about all of these tools in a second right to zoom to fit just click on that button and then it's going to zoom in to your clip we have plus button to zoom in we have minus button to zoom out this is audio mixer we talk about that as well let's say i want to start my video from somewhere else so i'm going to press space bar it's going to start playing the video and let's say i want to start my video from here then i want to select this clip and here i have split the shortcut key for that is control b so if you press control b it's going to get a split so let's say i'll click on that now this is a separate clip now and this is a separate clip press delete key or you can simply click here it's going to get rid of off that clip i'm just gonna let it play and i want to stop where i want this clip to end here my brother aspen stopped talking and then i'm going to click on split again and then i'm going to scroll again so i want to start from here now and then split again and then select this middle part what i don't want in the video i'm going to click on this delete play the video and let's look at done okay that's called splitting i want to focus on aspen from this part because he's talking so i'm going to click on that i'm going to split it from there and then i'm going to select this clip and then there is another crop option so shortcut key for that is alt c let's click on crop and now we have these vertices all around our video so i'm going to track them and here i want to keep that 16 by 9 aspect ratio so now if i increase the size it's going to make sure that i've got the proper aspect ratio let's click on ok so that's how you cut your videos in filmora i'm going to add let's just select the elements i'm going to click on vacations because i was on vacation i'm going to select this i'm going to click on this download button it's going to download that and then i'm going to make sure where i want to start this vacation element so i want to keep my playhead this is the playhead and i'm going to make sure this start from here okay and i'm going to click on this plus now it's downloading from wondershare.com and i'm going to select that and i'm going to take my cursor here okay on the corner as you can see that the cursor change so i can increase or decrease the size of that so if i don't want this to for long so i can just decrease the size that was a bit small so i'm going to change this to a little bit more double click on that right and here we have some transitions double click on that to apply i want to add a filter now so i'm going to split that clip this is a separate clip now i'm going to go to filters and maybe this filter i'm going to click on plus and it's going to get applied okay so that's the glow now if i double click on that i can see there's an option here blur if i want to blur that a lot click ok and now let's look at the clip I'm going to add some overlays here so click on that plus button and it's going to start downloading and there you go we have that overlay now so let's look at it now so that's the overlay we have that kind of effect you can apply let's go back to media and if you want to add some more clips you can do that by simply clicking and drag and drop that's where i want it and then i'm gonna split that again I'm gonna get rid of that part now we have that clip here let's say if you want to add this 
a different clip so I can use this split screen option. I'm gonna click on that and here I'm going to add this effect to my clip. Now I have one and two, all right? So if I select it here on the top, you can see zone drop zone one, drop zone two. This clip here, I'm gonna drag and drop and then I can add this clip here, drag and drop and try playing this now. I want to show you add music and add tracks. If I click here, add new track, you can add text track, you can add music track. This is a text clip. This is what we have. So I'm going to add I like this fashion week. So I'm going to click on the plus button and it's going to drop that. Now let's play that. So that's what we have here. If I double click on that, you can add it this, right? So if I preview window, I'm going to select this and then this will change. So I can make it green and I can change that gradient color or I can use fill color. I'll leave that fill color. So I'm gonna select this and click on animation and we have all the animations we can apply. So you can change the font size, font style, alignment, line spacings, all right? so. A lot more options if i go to advance i have this window you get a lot more options in this window but i can't cover them here if you want me to do a separate video for that let me know in the comments below if i want to move this after i made this so i can do that as well i'm going to select this and then i'm going to click on this edit okay once you click on the edit now you can choose contrast saturation brightness hue and you can auto enhance your clip as well. If you wanna play your video in reverse, you can do that as well. So if I add the contrast a little bit, I'm gonna add a bit of brightness and I'm going to add a bit of saturation. So compared to this clip, this clip is much better now, much brighter, much saturated. So you can add some color adjustment as well. If you wanna rotate your video, you can do that as well. I'm gonna show you export option. Click on export. Here we have different formats and you can export your videos in MP4, FLV and so on. In devices, you will find iPhone, iPad, Apple TV. So you can export your video in that size. If you wanna export to YouTube, you can directly write your title description and tags and you can select if it's going to be public and you can select the category of your video as well all you have to do is just sign into your account and then click on export filmora will automatically export your video and then upload it to youtube with the format when you select mp4 if you go to the settings you get to choose a resolution so most probably you're going to select 1920 by 1080 which is a 1080p if it's a gaming video you probably want to export it to 60 frames per second but normal video is fine 23.97 or 25 frames per second doesn't really matter i'll keep that to 30 frames per second all right guys so that was a quick tutorial for beginners who want to learn how to use filmora to edit their videos Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter at wisemeza01 and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching again and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.